Graves? R.W.? Yo, Joes. Welcome to another Vintage G.I. Joe review. We've been working our way through the original lineup of G.I. Joes, and I've been doing Patreon polls lately on these guys. But today is going to be a very special review. This one goes out to good brother Joseph, showing some love for Grunt. Grunt sometimes doesn't get the love that he deserves. But it's all about Grunt today. And Grunt was one of the early Joes of my collection when we went to the store to buy our first G.I. Joes. I picked Breaker and my brother picked Grunt. So even though Hawk was the leader of the original G.I. Joe lineup, uh, to me Grunt will always be the face of that original OD Green collection. He's uh, not the leader, he's not even one of the higher up officers, but he's literally the Grunt. He's the ground troop, he's the guy who gets the job done. We're going to take a, a look at uh, the articulation is the same as any other Joe. I don't know if I really need to go through the articulation at this point. Same as always, uh, but he's got the elbow swivel because this is the 1983 reissue where they upgraded the elbows. And in doing that, they also changed his arms. So these are the new 83 arms with the bright green pockets on the front, whereas the original straight arm version had the pockets on the sides. And then the other little change they did was the waist piece. So they uh, made it a little more streamlined. And a few of the other details on Grunt, he's got the same boots as all the other Joes, but these are painted brown. And I always liked that choice because it always made me think this guy is the guy who literally he uh, hikes through the mud, so of course his boots would be brown. And he's got pockets on the sides of his um, pants. And like most of those first and second year Joes, he didn't come with a lot of accessories. One of the things he did come with was the backpack. And nothing huge or crazy at this point, like Low Light's backpack or even gung-ho had a pretty big backpack this is a nice little practical infantry backpack got pockets on the sides got a pocket on the back and the color perfectly matches grunt too and he also included a helmet as most of those first year joes did and no visors or communications attachment just the helmet and it is a tight fit but when you pull it out here's another thing I loved about Grunt and uh, he shares the same head as Grand Slam but he's uh, he's got one of those um, hairlines that is retreating from his intense gaze so I, I like that he didn't have a big thick full head of hair flowing in the wind it's just a, a realistic looking grunt. So I always appreciated that too. I remember seeing that as a kid and thinking, hey, that's that's kind of cool. He, uh, to me, he looks a lot like Tommy Lee Jones. I don't know if anyone else sees the likeness there, but he reminds me a lot of Tommy Lee in The Park Is Mine, which I just recently rewatched and I'll have a review on this channel very soon, but I like that uh, these uh, Joes actually looked like real people instead of cartoon caricatures. Uh, as far as the rest of the body detail goes, he's got a handy grenade there. And then his accessory, and this is what I also really loved about these original Joes. Their weapons are just as iconic as the figure itself. So Grunt came with a good old... M16. With a little handle on the top. It's not huge, it's not oversized, it's not neon green or um, orange. It's just almost black, dark, dark, dark gray. 
easy for him to hold and with the elbow swivels he can actually kind of do a steadying gesture on it. One of the things you got to watch with the M16, this part right here where the uh, this part meets the body of the gun tends to break. I've seen quite a few of them bent there or broken there and then the barrel a lot of the time is just bent and you can fix that with dipping it in some hot water or using a hairdryer to just straighten it back to the position it should be and then running it under cold water to get it back to where it needs to be. So that is a look at the classic grunt figure and he just looks so right. Hunching him a little bit forward in a running position there. He is infantry and let's take a look at his file card. Infantry Trooper. Code name Grunt. File name Graves. Robert W. Primary military specialty Infantry. Secondary military specialty Small Arms Armorer Artillery Coordinator. Birthplace, Columbus, Ohio, grade E4. And the bio reads, familiar with all NATO and Warsaw Pact small arms, as well as domestic civilian arms. Graduated, advanced infantry training. Finished in top 10 of his class. Qualified expert, M14, M16, M1911A1 auto pistol. And the quote reads, Grunt is a highly motivated, systematic individual. He's a stand-up guy who doesn't blow his cool in a firefight. And when we think of G.I. Joes with multiple different versions of them, Snake Eyes obviously immediately comes to mind, but Grunt was actually one of the first Joes to get a new version. Now granted, it wasn't a new sculpt like all of the Snake Eyes new versions would get. Uh, it was a straight-up recolor, but the uh, 83 Swivel Arm Grunt got a recolor also in 83 with the Falcon Glider Tan Grunt, as he's known. I don't have the Falcon Glider that he came with, but I was able to hunt down the tan figure that was included with that glider a couple of years ago. And it is the exact same figure, just with different colorations. This time he's got black boots because he's not trudging through the mud. He's got the Falcon Glider, Falcon Glider, and same chest sculpting, same everything, just tan coloration and then a darker brownish green pocket there. Got the same silver knife on his chest. And the Falcon Glider grunt actually didn't come with a weapon, but I've given him his trusty M16 from one of the weapons packs and he also included a tan helmet. And it would have been great to get a single carded 25th anniversary grunt because I do love his card art. Would have been great to see that either recreated or updated on 25th anniversary cards. But we had to settle for the 2008 grunt, which was included with the senior ranking officers three pack. It's grunt. Um, it, it was nice to complete the team. But in terms of the 25th anniversary Joes, I just didn't feel like it was all that true to the original Grunt. He's a brighter green. I mean, I love the uh, American flag. It's backwards as it is on a lot of uh, military garb uh, or inverted. Um, but it's, it's brighter than Grunt's OD green, duller type of green. He doesn't have the pocket. It's these little details that I just loved them carrying over in the, uh, I'll get to that in a minute, uh, in the 25th line. And they just, they didn't do it with uh, this particular anniversary figure. His hands are brutal. This one, this one can't hold anything. It's like a giant paint glob in there or something, but that's just how it's kind of sculpted and they're all painted. And he can't hold anything worth a lick. Um, the other hand has a little bit more luck and he came with a different gun, but it's got to be an M16 uh, for me, for Grunt. So I've just given him a spare 
M16, which he doesn't hold all that well. Uh, he does have the removable knife that a lot of the 25th anniversary figures have. I love that removable knife uh, in the sheath on the leg. And then his harness is removable too. And he also has this little pistola right there. Would have given uh, anything for that feature in the original Joes, having little hosters with guns. That would have been really cool. So it's uh, it's nice that he has those extra little things, but you might have to upgrade uh, the hands. And the problem with the hands is that part of the wrist has coloring on it too. So uh, it might be hard to find a, a good match or else You'll just have uh, just slightly shorter hands if you put in flesh hands without that cuff part in it. Uh, and the backpack is one that I grabbed off of a anniversary Duke. I just thought it it went nicely with him, and it's actually closer in color to the original Grunt. So I just felt like I needed a little bit of original Grunt color on here. Taking a look at his head sculpt, he's got a tiny head. The anniversary figures had either a tiny head or a big head. He's got a little bit of um, sticky tack on there to hold the helmet on because it won't stay on there without a little bit of help. Um, and the head doesn't really look much like Grunt either. And he's got stubble, which the original Grunt did not have. So I, I prefer grunt looking uh, clean shaven just because he's a grunt doesn't mean he's not uh, kempt. So that's the uh, anniversary grunt, which is nice to have the whole team complete, have them all sitting on your 25th anniversary Mobat, but I don't think it really captures the essence of the original. So that's a look at one of the unsung heroes of G.I. Joe, Robert Graves, codename Grunt. Hope you enjoyed this review. Big thanks to the Patreon tribe, and we'll have more polls on there soon to decide future G.I. Joe, as well as Transformers, He-Man, and other toy line reviews. To join the tribe, hit subscribe, and hit the chime to be notified each time a new video goes up. Thanks for watching, and until next time, Yo, Joe!